if you don't pull any punches, like some people are going to think you're an asshole and they're just not going to want to deal with you. But the people that do, you know, those are the people you want to be around. And those are the people that you can trust and can trust you. Because I don't look like a TV producer. I never have. People say the same shit. You got lucky. But, I mean, it's it's a hard fucking job. It's not easy. When we were down there in Florida. I worked 18 hours a day for three months straight. Didn't have one day off the very last day. Me and this guy Rambo that I worked with forever, the nicest guy in the world, walked to the beach for the first time. And, uh, you know, I put, it's funny, I, I, I didn't wear like America top team or black zillion shit the whole time. Cause I had to be neutral, packed up everything. And, uh, I had America top team shirt on. And I walked just to the corner, have lunch with uh, Rambo. And I look and Rashad Evans is at the next table. He's like, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. You fucking traitor motherfucker. You knew me since season one. Like you were on their side the whole time. I'm like, no, no, no. Like, <laughs> it worked. It been, now it's been years. Fuck yeah. You yeah, yeah, the, the statute of limitations is over. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> He's like, I knew it, man. We we're supposed to be homies, man. I knew it. I was like, oh, because <laughs> like I was, it was, it was tough because every day, like someone was trying to get an advantage and call me and, you know, and just Ugh. digging for whatever they could, they could find. And, you know, I had like, I had Jorge Mastin all trying to fight me every day because of a stupid Miami Heat hat that I made him take off the first day. Like, it was when LeBron <laughs> first went there and uh, he's got the Heat hat on and we can't wear it because of the logo. So I'm like, hey, man, like, can you take that off? And uh, rest in peace, Kimbo. 